Sazabi's Grand Tribute is the current hot topic for a lot of channels, being touted as an amazing new budget mercenary option with the changes to both the set, as well as the availability of an Act 5 Frenzy Barbarian. This is mostly due to one key change to the global bonuses of the set, though the budget nature of this can only really apply to online play due to the relative rarity of the sword itself, which in solo play will often take longer to find than the runes for something like Grief or Fortitude. The big full set bonus that was added in 2.4 was the inclusion of the 16% damage reduction, which does greatly improve your general durability against physical attacks at least. The other 2.4 mods that were a little less impressive, with plus one all skills, which is nice to have in general, as well as a poison length reduction modifier. The rest of the mods as far as the stuff that's been around since day one, with the faster run walk, decent life leech, chunky percent boost to life, and resistances being standard fare on the set, are pretty good, and they have been around since day one, like I said. And they were one reason this set was kind of a decent sleeper even in past versions, since online you were able to get every part of it from free stuff games even, due to a lack of love for sets, especially any sets other than Tal's, Trang's, or Immortal King. Now, the easiest part of the set to find is the Mental Sheath, which I stumble across a lot even in solo cell found runs. It works as an okay competitor even to stuff like lore, since it comes in with decent defense, plus all skills, and variable resistances to fire and lightning that can go up to about 20%. And usually I'll throw a resistance rune into it just to round out those numbers a bit more, depending on my needs and what I've found so far. The other two parts are elite items, so a bit less common, though I do tend to find a lot more of the armor due to the fact that I farm Act 4 in Hell a lot, and Diablo and Bale have fairly good drop rates for it. That said, its bonuses are a little less impressive with a bit of faster hit recovery, attack rating versus demons which is handy against bosses, and it has some flat defense as well as some extra life and strength. Though generally speaking, the Ghost Liberator will be your heaviest piece of gear at 165 strength, so plus 25 strength is only going to give you a little extra damage in melee. On the subject of melee, we have the last part of the set, and the item I find the least of out of the set, and for me has been weirdly less common than even low runes, and that is Sazabi's Cobalt Redeemer, an indestructible cryptic sword with a solid attack speed, boosted damage to demons, as well as some extra strength, dexterity, and a bit of cold damage. And while the damage output is enough to get you through hell difficulty, it won't be exceptionally quick at it, though it is good against bosses and I love pairing it with laying of hands when I do use it. And to throw a little bit of my personal bias in here, I've always felt, even since day one, that this should have been a naturally spawning ethereal, though I doubt we'll ever see that happen. As far as upgrades, the only part that can even be upgraded is the helmet, so I would not waste the runes on that. But overall, the set is, and actually has been, a reasonably good and easy to get set online since it was heavily underestimated, and pretty much was a great example of a budget set in that context. Though in single player, you'll be hard pressed to get all the parts together before you find the runes to make something better, so keep that in mind with all the fanfare that's been going on. So, do you think they should make ethereal sets, or do you think they should continue to follow the no ethereal set rule? Mention it down below, and as always, thanks for all the support from the channel members, patrons, and viewers like you.